Welcome back to some more MLB Road to the Show with our third baseman, Everett Scott. And in the previous episode, we started off our brand new season here with the Phillies, where we took on, I believe, yeah, we took on the Washington Nationals in a four-game series, and we swept them, and then we played this two-game set against the Braves, where we swept them. We went on to win five games in a row. Wait. Seven games in a row, sorry, math, not good. And then we lost to St. Louis, but then we rebounded with a 4-0 win. Then we split the series against Seattle, losing 3-9. Then we've been pretty good. We won this series against the Mets, won this series against the Rockies. We lost our first series to the D-backs, this one here. I don't know why I had to say that one. I'm literally highlighting it. And then we won this three-game series against the Nationals, swept the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates, beat the Oakland Athletics, and then we have just come off a a two-to-one series win over the Braves. But I wanted to come back with this three-game series against the Cubbies, and then we will finish off this episode with this two-game set against the Blue Jays. Um, So I think I have figured out how I'm going to go about structuring these episodes. So like I said, today we will be doing five games, three against the Cubbies, two against the Blue Jays. And then I think what I'm going to do after that is the next episode will probably be around the All-Star break. We might do um, this, or we might do this, like the Home Run Derby if we make it, and the All-Star game if we make it. And then... If that kind of runs short, then we'll do this three-game set against the Rangers. And then I think I'm going to kind of space it out like a couple series every other month in the videos. So like then after that would be the final month where we'd finish off like the last three-game set against the Mets and then the last series at home. Something like that. I think it'll just uh, space out and hurry along the series a little bit so we can get further along in it. Um, If that made sense... Hopefully it did. I hopefully explained it well enough, but sometimes I don't do that. Um, I did equip all audio things, so I don't know if uh, you'll actually hear them. I'm not sure if it happens when you hit home runs and stuff or only when your teammates do. Um, So I'm not really sure how that works. I just, I had them, so I equipped them. Um... But yeah, so we'll look at the standings here quick. We are leading the NL East by a good five games over the Mets. Uh, In the NL Central, the Cubbies are three and a half games ahead of the Cardinals. Then the NL West, the Giants are a game and a half above the D-backs, which is very weird. (laughs) You don't like seeing that if you are an avid baseball watcher because you know that the Diamondbacks are actually getting good again, which hasn't been a thing since... I think they won the World Series back in 2001. Then the wild card, you have the Mets and the Cardinals fighting it out with the Braves and the Brewers close behind. AL East, you got the Rays and the Blue Jays tied for first. AL Central, you got the Guardians there, followed close behind by the Twins. Then the AL West, you got the Angels, followed close behind by the Astros. In the wild card, you got the Astros and the Twins. So very interesting so far, about a month A month and a few days, actually. A month and a few days into the season. But yeah, enough about that. Before we jump into this episode here, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe if you have not done so already. I'm very close to hitting 100 subscribers. Anything you guys can do to help me get there, I always appreciate. So without further ado... We're going to jump in and play our next game here. Oh, we got a got a conversation. We can never become complacent about the fundamentals of the game, men. Let's all stay sharp out there. Will do. All right, so we are at home. Let's select. The, all right, that's good. Actually, you know what? Let's rock the alternate twos. I'm feeling like those. All right, so the top four batters for our teams are all on a hot streak, but then the rest are in cold streaks, so... Kind of a 50-50 split there for our team. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Two of the but we are at CBP it's the against the Cubbies. Cubbies. 
21 and 11, and we are 23 and 9. We have yet to hit right, double digit we'll losses. That'd be very nice if we could avoid that in this episode, but playing a good team here, so chances are we might not win every game against Just the Cubbies. We have Clayton Kershaw, which I still can't believe. He's pitching pretty well for us, though. Don't like the walks. Yeah, Boogie's racked up over 3,000. Could be worse. So I'm pretty sure eight walks and six starts isn't that bad, though. 3 1 record. So up next. But we are up to bat here. Not only can he have not simmed a single game. I have my own custom camera now. It's been working out for me. There we go. Good to lay off that one. This first at bat, I'm not going to edit. But then after this one, we'll go back to regular editing style. I feel like I say that in every episode. Probably should have swung at that one, but I didn't feel it. So 1-1 one, one is the count with two out runner on first. That one's easy to lay off. Two and one is the count. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball. All right, see what we can do here. Here's a 2-1. And that'll get past the third baseman into left field. There we go. So two on with two outs. Runner is in scoring position there. All right. Almost got picked up by the third baseman. Thankfully, he missed it. Now we got Kyle Schwarber batting a 270. Full count, so we will be, blah, blah, blah. We will be on the move here. And Schwarber gets walked, so bases are juiced with two outs. Now we got Chris Taylor. See what he can do here with two outs. He hits a little blooper. The shortstop will pick that up, and that will be an out at first. So he got out of that jam. We played an inning. And that is going to be a deep fly to right. And Segura on second is not going to test the arm. Challenge failed. And that will be a hit into the gap. And I will stretch that into a double. Still don't think I'm fast enough to leg out triples yet. My 10th double of the season. We're trailing by one here in the bottom of the fifth. So it's getting a little close. Odorizzi, he was at almost 80 pitches, I think. So he might get pulled after giving up that double. No, he's still in there. 82 pitches. See if Schwarbs can get me home here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. He hits that, but I think that will be an out, and it will. Second baseman has that easily. All right, bottom of the seventh here. Losing by one. No one on, one out. See what I can do. And I strike out Chasen. Two out in the bottom of the seventh. That might be our last at bat in this one. A little anxious. All right, no, bottom of the eighth, two on, one out. We have a one-run lead here. Not sure why I swung at that garbage. I could tell that was inside. Just getting a little jumpy here. Got to cool my jets. Make him pitch something good to me. And I strike out swinging at an inside pitch. I got to get over this antsy crap. But we managed to come back and get the victory over the Cubbies to take game one of three. Did not play any fielding in that game. I should probably make sure it's not turned off. In my other road to the show that I started, I had it turned off. But I will check and make sure before the next game. And that'll be a simple little blooper to second. Not going to beat that out. That'll end the first. One left. So first and second with two outs. All right, back up to bat, bottom of the third, two on, two outs, trailing by one. Hopefully I can do something here. And I strike out looking on a full count. 
Worked my way back into a full count, and then I strike out looking. You hate to see it. Bottom of the sixth, tied at one apiece. 0 for 2 in this one. And I strike out on a very good curveball. Super slow. I don't even think that one hit 70. Yeah, a 69 mile per hour curveball. No wonder why I whiffed on it. I was way in front of it. But we're actually getting some defense here. Top of the seventh, two on, one out. Got to turn two. Ground ball left side could be two. Over to six. There we go. And there we go. Turn two there to get out of the top half of the seventh. Bottom of the seventh, two on, one out. Still tied at one. Got to come up clutch here. And that is a perfect, perfect right into center field. He's going to stretch that. He's going around. And he gets into score. We take a one-run lead here in the bottom of the seventh. That ball was blasted, Boogan. Perfect, perfect straight shot into center. I think that was Segura on second. He just turned on the gas and came around third. All right, so two on with one out still. Schwarbs is up 3 nothing in his count. All right, bases are juiced for Mills now. See if he can get out of this jam. Estudillo, he's got a homer in this game. Gave us our only run up until this point. He hits another one. That's going to be a double play. Yeah, with nine speed, he ain't legging that out. At least we got the go-ahead run. And we hold on to take the series against the Cubbies. Now if we lose game three, we still win. Obviously, because that's how it works, two to one. But we can't we can't lose game three after we've already won games one and two. So let's go win game three. All right, so starting off with some defense here, top of the first with no one on and one out. Going up against Christian Franklin. Sip a little ground ball over to third, over to first, and there we go. I think that's... Uh, a studio at first now because we don't have Hoskins anymore. I'm on a nine game hitting streak. See if we can increase it to double digits in this one. Bottom of the first, we have a, a run across, runner on second with one out. And that'll be a good hit into center. Not sure why the dude on second was just standing there. But he'll be able to come around and score. If he would have been running, I... I don't know. That threw me off. I didn't think it was as good of a hit as it was, but it was good enough to get him around to score, giving us a 2 nothing lead here, but he was like frozen there for a second. It was very weird. But Schwab's up to bat here. One on, one out. 2-2 now. He hits that into center. I'm going to hold up at 2. I have decent speed, but... Early on in the game, we don't want to be taking risks like that. We want to make sure we play smart and hold on to this lead we got. Good hit from Schwarbs. Now we got Chris Taylor up to bat. Two on, one out. As long as he doesn't ground into a double play, we will be good. But he does exactly what I didn't want him to do. But... We got a run across, up two nothing now. All right, bottom of the second, up five nothing. Runner on third, two outs. And that'll be a nice hit, but it'll be to the shortstop, and he gets it to first in time. All right, bottom of the fourth now, up six nothing. No one on, one out. One for two with a single and a ribby. And you see the results. And that is a good hit early on it though, so it will not have the distance, and it falls in left. If I would have been a little bit, if I would have waited just a little bit, maybe I could have turned that into a homer. But bottom of the sixth, two outs, one on. 
Runner in scoring position. And I strike out swinging. Ah, I'm playing good, but I'm also playing like dookie. I don't know why. Oh, we still do have Hoskins. I thought we got rid of him. Oh, wait, no. That's for Chicago. I'm retarded. All right, bottom of the eighth now, up 8 nothing. One for four. Runner on first with one out. I got to start turning things around here. I'm, I'm not doing good. I didn't do good in the previous episode. Started off the season in a freaking slump. Broke out of it in between the last episode and this one, but seems like I'm in back into a slump again. There's a swing and a drop. Just slightly early on that swing timing. At the warning track, and it's going to fall short. And Hooper has to come back to first. Very close to getting a 10 nothing lead here. But it does not matter. We hold on. And we sweep the Cubbies in this three-game series. Now we have a day off where we will come back to face the Toronto Blue Jays in a two-game series. So I will see you guys against Toronto. All right, guys, so we are here for our two-game set against the Blue Jays. we got Ranger Suarez taking the mound for game one of this two-game series. Doing pretty good. Seven starts, three wins. I did change my loadout. I got rid of the power three perk that I have, and I put it back to clear for takeoff, which gives me egg, uh, extra boost to exit velocity with a normal swing. Ooh, just slightly late on that. We're trailing by one already, but we got a runner on first with two outs here. Yeah, just slightly late on that. And that's going to be a pop-up late on that one. That'll end the first. Not a good way to start things off here. Everett Scott. Bottom of the fourth, 0 for 1 with a pop out in the first. We got to we got to play better. We just have to. Uh, get on base after taking the first pitch. I always like to improve my discipline. Helps me check swing. At least I think it should. As I swing at that and immediately fail the challenge. Uh, we got a 10 game hitting streak on the line too. Got to keep that going. But the really good offensive teams combined. And that'll be a slightly early hit, and it'll go over to short. And Guerrero Jr. will get the out at first. Not starting off good here. Bottom of the seventh. Two nothing lead for the Blue Jays. Good time to come back and rally here if I can get a good hit. And I strike out on a nice slurve. I think it was just slightly under the strike zone there. That was a good pitch to swing at. Fought my way back into that count. He just got me with a nice slurve. Might do it for my 10-game hit streak. All right, well, one more chance. Does not look like we're going to win this one unless we can get a bottom of the ninth inning rally. 10-game hitting streak on the line. And that's going to be a little blooper to third. Not going to beat that out. So unless my teammates can force us into extras, that will do it for this game and my hit streak. And that'll indeed do it. So we lose the first game to the Blue Jays. Now I just got to hope we can split the two-game series and win game two. Bottom of the first already, we're losing 3 nothing. Blue Jays must be a very dominant team this year. Maybe they're just taking on our worst pitchers. But I got two on with one out. Got to get them home. And he pitches me a four-seamer straight down the middle, and I'm late on it. You hate that. And that's a slightly late hit. Looks like it's going to bounce off the wall. And it does. We get two runs home. I'm going to be able to leg that out for a triple. Bad throw in. I'm going for it. Bad call. Oh, I thought I was safe. I almost pulled off an inside the parker to tie things up. I almost had it if I was slightly a bit faster. Just slightly. 
this game would be tied. Yeah, that was just a bad throw in. If that third baseman would have gotten to it as quick as he did, that would have been an inside the Parker. Good tag out by the catcher there. Ready to go for the last half of the Bottom of the third, trailing by two now. We did tie it up, but pitching staff blew it. I have a triple and two ribbies in this one. And I strike out swinging on a slider. Those things are my kryptonite, and it wasn't even close to the strike zone. You know, sometimes I think I'm going to do well, and then I do stuff like that and prove myself wrong. The bottom of the fourth now, tied up at five with two on, two outs. This would be the perfect time to take the lead. Slightly, whoa, voice crack, slightly late on that one. Not going to have the distance like the previous one did. That'll be the last out they need. What am I talking about? Sometimes I don't know what I'm saying. Go ahead, run on base. Top of the fifth now finally getting some defense here. Runner on second with no outs. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in All right, runner's going to go back to second. Over to Estudillo at first. That is one gone. And we poop the bed here like Amber Heard. But we have two on with two outs. Runners on the corners. We'd be two runs shy if I hit a bomb. Should have crushed that just late. Corners are occupied with two down. I'm going to keep you guys around for this at bat. It's a high intensity one. Early on that circle change. If I would have waited, I probably could have crushed it. Just way too antsy. And he deals. Oh, bobbled it. Nobody advancing. All right, one, two count. Try and work it back into my favor. And now it's one and two. All right, there we go. Evened up now. Come on, Merriweather. You want to pitch me something good. And he does, and I foul it off. Slightly late. Still says good swing timing, though. I call BS on that. If it was good, it would have went somewhere. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Get out of here. Get out of here. That's gone. Two runs shy of tying this game up. Three run bomb. Number eight. Number nine, excuse me, on the season. It is not over yet. There you go, Astudio. There you go, other guy. Not sure of your name. Three run bomb. To only put us down by two. Love to see it. Oh, that one got in the jet stream. With a chance to <sighs> but it does not matter because the Blue Jays get two more runs on us. So we got to make up four in the bottom of the ninth. Going to get the sure out over at first. There we go. Let's get a rally going in the bottom of the ninth, boys. Come on. Oh, I'm leading off the bottom of the ninth. All right, just hit a three-run shot in my last at-bat. Maybe I can get us to within three. All right, 1-0. and all. Make him pitch to me. Got to be patient here. I got to pick a zone and stick to it. And it'll go right to the shortstop. I picked a zone. He pitched me good. Nothing you can do about that. Hopefully my teammates can come up clutch. No. So the Blue Jays sweep us in this two-game series. So we'll go back to the clubhouse and see what is up next on our schedule before we call things quits for this episode. All in all, I don't think I did too bad in that second game. The first one I was kind of poopy, but... All right. So we're 26-11, and 11, still leading the NL East... 
Yeah, Toronto's still a half game back of the Rays. That was a good series for them to win, but the Rays must be winning as well. Looks like the Royals are probably the worst team in the in the league this year. 16 games back. Nationals are 14 and a half. Pirates are 11. Interesting. All right. So we we won 3, lost 2, so we went 3 and 2 on this episode, obviously. Had a 3 game winning streak and then now we're on a 2 game losing streak. But hey, we're still winning. I had to sacrifice two overall points because of my clear for takeoff perk but i i don't really use power swing anymore i use normal swing and this one's good for normal swing so um yeah and then i just have contact one through three to help me boost my contact even more so yeah so before we end things here i can also go through the league leaders Batting average, Will Smith, Colton Wong, Ramon Urias, and DJ LeMayhew. Adalberto Mondesi. I don't know why I had such a hard time saying that. And Bo Bichette. Josh Rojas and Carlos Correa. Tommy Edmond and Mike Trout. Juan Soto, Aaron Judd. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Back, back. Aaron Judge is on the Angels now. Interesting, interesting. All right, RBIs, Juan Soto and Jared Walsh. Rafael Devers and Brandon Marsh. Trey Turner, Bobby Witt Jr. Kyle Schwerber, Joey Gallo. Jesse Winker, Mike Trout. Juan Soto, Mike Trout. Juan Soto, Mike Trout. Marcus Stroman, Lance McCullers Jr. Marcus Stroman, Brent Honeywell Jr., Liam Hendricks, James Karnachek, Karnachak, Tarek Skubal, Jack Flaherty, Clayton Kershaw, Garrett Cole, Brandon Woodruff, Framber Valdez, Freddie Peralta, Luis Severino, Jose Barrios, Zach Wheeler, Lucas Giolito, Garrett Cole, Zach Wheeler, Jose Barrios, Zach Wheeler, Luis Severino, Clayton Kershaw, Garrett Cole, Juan Soto, Joey Gallo, and that is it. Wait, are we anywhere in the league leaders for home runs or anything? We're in the top 10, tied for ninth. With Will Smith, Nick Castellanos, Carson Kelly. Okay. We're number two for RBIs. All right. Not too shabby. Anybody injured? Carlo uh, Jimenez, torn groin, but he's on the AAA team, so we're not worried about it. Um, oh, yeah, I wanted to check all-star voting. Okay, so we're tied with Nolan Arenado in the National League for votes. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. So if you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you have not done so already. On the road to 100, I'm very close. If you guys can help me get there, I would appreciate it. Even if you don't, I still appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch all my video part of it, like a second of it. No matter what it is, I always appreciate it. Thank you for stopping by. Love you all. You make me enjoy doing this as a hobby. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. But anyway, thank you for watching. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Do all those things. I appreciate it every single time. And until next time, take care.